Hello again, this is Robert from Speed Zone Automotive. It's been a while, maybe a decade, but I'm doing an update on the uh, PCV catch cans. In my previous video, I used a different catch can. If you see the previous video, you'll see that they're, they're uh, longer, narrower, not quite set up the same way. But then I ran across these uh, Moroso, it's a dual catch can setup and uh, through Summit Racing, $314.99. You might be able to find the uh, setup cheaper somewhere else, but they, that's the price now. I think I might have got a little better price at JEGS with a, I think they had a 20% coupon or discount for, you know, first time buyers, whatever. But, but look around. I mean, it's gonna be around 300 bucks for the setup. What you're gonna get, you're going to get the two catch cans. You're going to get the all the bracketry. What's nice is they, they send you this bracket, too. Uh, now you're going to have to stick it in a vise, get a big hammer, do some pounding. But it works good once you bend it into submission and uh, get it at the spot you need. With this, it comes with one hole drilled. You only have to drill one additional hole in the back, and then it'll be a two-bolt mount there that is super solid. The brackets that hold the catch cans are super solid. Now, and it comes with with the fittings, two three eighths fittings, but it comes with a two half inch fittings also. So on a Subaru, this is this is the kit for a, a Subaru STI. Uh, let's see, I have the number here. It is going to be item number eight five six five. Five. And then and you'll see it. It's an oil air separator for the Subaru WRX STI, uh, but obviously adapted for the GTR. But it comes with two half inch fittings to three eighths. You're going to use three eighths, so you got to get rid of the the bigger half inch ones uh, and go with one and uh, two more that have the uh, three eighths barb on the end. Uh, so again, that's uh, you know go down to your auto parts store. That's a, that's an easy fix. It, they're going to send you a bunch of tubing, not enough for everything, but uh, enough to about half. So you go down again the auto parts store. It's, you're going to buy three eighths uh, fuel line tubing uh, to complete the project, and you are going to need a T back here, a three eighths T. And uh, two more 3HT uh, in the, the valve cover exits where it'll have to be split. Okay, so once you get these mounted, and, and this, is the, this is the spot because there is no other place to mount these things. Uh, and, and what I like about these while we're at it, the bottoms unscrew. There's like an O-ring at the top. They unscrew easily. And then all the oil, you just take it, take it out, dump the oil, and, and you're good to go. With the other ones, they were very long. They came down over the, uh, the drive belt underneath, and they had a stopcock underneath. So you had to get your hand under there, under the stopcock, and then put something under there to catch the oil. So it was a pain. With this, you just unscrew it. You take the cup out, take it wherever, empty it, clean it. Screw it back in, very easy. So, once you get that mounted, you're gonna go back here, there's a line that comes up from the crankcase. Now this is normally hooked into the intake manifold right here. You're gonna need a block off plug for where it was hooked into the intake manifold. I bought a silicone one online, seems to be working fine. And then you're gonna have that 3 8 T fitting. You're gonna cut the Cut the tube that uh, cut the factory tube that went down to the crankcase, right below where it would normally elbow into this fitting. So you cut it there. You put your T in here, and then your tubing. One tubing goes there. One tubing goes here. I wanted to make it equal on both sides, so I, I that's why I did it like that. That way, it's drawing suction from both the turbos simultaneously. So I'm going to have real good. Uh, negative crankcase pressure with both the turbos sucking through here. So, okay, you're going to run down to here. Now, where the line comes out of the 
the valve cover down here. You're going to snip it, put another T in down there. So this line, one T will go into the, the fitting into the, uh, the valve cover. One end of the T will go in this hose and the other end of the T is going to end up coming around going to the intakes on the catch cans. Okay, so there you have it. Very, very simple. Into the intakes, oh, and then the other, okay, let's see. Intakes in the front. Now these are going to go down to the turbo. The rear ones go back down to the turbo where it normally would have been from the valve cover right to the turbo inlet. Now this, this rear one goes to the turbo inlet. So in essence, you're drawing fumes out of the valve covers on each side. You're drawing fumes out of the crankcase from the rear. Coming in here, goes into the separator. All the, uh, the fume solids will go to the bottom of the catch can and then the, the, the suction line goes back down to the turbo. So none of the oil is going to get sucked into your intake system, which is a problem because then once it's in the intake system, it's going to go through all your intercooler piping. It's going to make its way into the manifolds. Uh, you want to keep that stuff as clean as you can. So with this system, no more problem. And very easy, like I said, these unscrew, very easy to, to maintain. So that is it. I think I've covered it all. Like I said, you're going to need the three, uh, three HTs, one for the back, one for each uh, valve cover outlet. And then you plumb it into the catch cans, plumb it back down to the turbo inlet suction line, and it's a done deal. So I just wanted to, to update because this system with these products, I think is a better system than the other skinnier catch cans with the stop cocks, the drain cocks at the bottom, which were a pain. So that's it for now from Speed Zone. Hope you liked the video. Bye.